All right, good morning, everybody. Wipe those sleepies from your eyes. Welcome to Math Lesson 50, which is all about finding an average. And finding an average is making all numbers in a group equal. So we're going to start off with something like this. Remember, an average means to make all groups equal. And if we had a group of three and a group of four and a group of two, if you were going to go and make all groups equal, you'd have to take one over here and you'd end up with three groups of three, right? But you're not going to always be able to draw a picture and do it so easy. So there must be an algorithm for this. So to find an average, it's two steps. First, you add all the numbers. Then you're going to go and divide the sum, remember the answer when you added all the numbers, by how many numbers were added. So if we went back to our picture here, we took 3 plus 4 plus 2. That equals 9, right? We add up all the groups. And we divide by the number of groups you added. One group, two groups, three groups. So we're going to go ahead and divide by 3. That's how we ended up with 3, if you remember here, right? So one more time, we're going to add all the numbers and divide the sum by how many numbers were added. Are we ready to apply it? Let's take a look. So the number of players on the four teams were 5, 6, 9, and 8. If the squads were changed so that the same number, there's your clue word that they want an average, same number of players were on each team, how many players would each squad have? So let's go ahead. 5 plus 6 plus 9 plus 8. Looks to me like we're going to go and add these guys up, and we're going to end up with 28, right? 5 plus 6 plus 9 plus 8. How many different numbers did we add there? We added 1, 2, 3, 4. So that means we're going to divide by 4. So our average would be 7 players on each team. Not too tough, do you think? Two steps to this algorithm. When the kids lined up, 11 children were in one line, and 17 students were in the other line. If the students were put into two equal lines, your clue that you're doing an average, how many would be in each line? Well, we have 17 and we have 11. We have two numbers that we're adding. 17 plus 11, hey, that's 28 kids, right? And I added two numbers, so I'm going to divide by 2. Can you do this one in your head? What's half of 28? It would be 14. You could go ahead and divide it all out if you wanted to, but I'm going to save some time. Trust me, I know the answer. Check this one out. Here's the number of points Shauna scored in a game. 8. 9, 7, 9, 8, 10, 6, and 7. Here they're straight up asking you, what's the average of Shauna's game points? Well, let's go ahead and add these. 8 plus 9 is 17. Plus 7 more, hey, that's going to give us 24. Plus 9 more, that's got to be 33. Plus 8 more is going to give us 41. Plus 10 more is going to give us 51. Plus 6 more is going to give us 57. Plus 7 more is going to give us 64. How many numbers did I add? I added 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
So I have a total of 64 points. She scored 64 points in eight total games. So I'm going to divide 64 by eight. And that's going to give us an average of eight points a game. Check out this one. There are three stacks of books. If the three stacks were made equal, another clue word that they want you to run the average algorithm, how many books would be in each stack? Well, let's go ahead and do some counting here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Looks like I got nine books in this stack. On to the next stack. One, two, three, four, five, six. And in our last stack over here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So let's go ahead and add these three stacks of books. Nine plus six is fifteen, plus twelve more. Looks to me like I have twenty seven total books, right? And I'm making them all equal, so I better divide by how many numbers I added. I added one, two, three numbers. So 27 divided by 3. If I put them in three equal stacks, that means there would be nine books in each stack. And I think that's all I have for you today. On average, remember, you add all the numbers. Divide the sum by how many numbers were added. You're definitely going to want a piece of paper and a pencil for this credit quiz, and good luck.